I didn't calculate that this is high up. The greatest breakthrough for type 1 diabetics is going to be software before we actually get a cure. And Loop came out with a custom way to set overrides that has completely changed how I manage this disease. Today we are going to dive into the three main profiles I've used that has been amazing while Annalise and I have been biking around India. If you haven't heard about Loop, one, I will leave my video from maybe 2018 up here that explains it all. But it is the do-it-yourself artificial pancreas that connects your insulin pump to your smartphone using a device called a Riley Link. And put simply is that you bolus and do everything through your smartphone and it automatically sends it to your insulin pump. So the difference between Eric's last looping video and this one is that now you actually don't have to buy a Medtronic pump on the black market. Another option is to get an Omnipod, which is on the market. Um, and the good thing about that is that you don't actually need to use your PDM. Everything is controlled through your phone. Now there is a bigger difference between Annalise and I's loop despite her using Omnipod and myself using Medtronic and that is how exercise mode is dealt with. If you open up our loop apps, you will see that if you tap on Annalise's exercise mode right now it will ask for a one, two hour or indefinite time mode. And what this will do is whatever she set as her target range, which looks like it's around 160, will just bump up her target range and all the loop will really do is just cut back on basal rates. So setting that as the new target range. Where if you go over to my loop, which is the developer branch, you'll tap on exercise mode and see three custom profiles that I have designed and that is what I want to walk you all through. So creating just a new profile from the beginning you will see that you can choose your symbol and you have all the emoticons, names, anything. So a popular one is for sick days. And you can label it whatever you want, but sick days. And from here you will change your overall insulin needs. This isn't just a reduction in basal rate, which is popular with the Medtronic 670G as well. This reduces your carb ratios, your sensitivity ratios, everything. And that's really important for diabetes management. And so if you're a sick day, you might need an increase by say 20%. And you might want to increase your target range just so you aren't dropping low from the extra insulin. So if you're used to being at a range of 100, maybe you'll bump that up to 120 and have the upper high being 130. And if it's a sick day and you're actually not quite sure how long it'll last, you can enable it indefinitely or set a duration. So you might want to set it for 12 hours if you know you're going to be in bed all day, or you can enable it indefinitely and then turn it off when you're feeling better. And there you'll save it and then see that along with my other profiles. Now since Annalise and I are cycling around India, a uh, big thing with bike touring is that we are on our bikes for hours. And now with these loop profiles, you're able to be much more honest with your system. So what I have done is made a cycling profile where everything is reduced by 50%, set a slightly higher, higher target range, and made the duration 12 hours, which is for that 8 hours of, so say, cycling, and then the 4 hours after, just as recovery. Another profile is my rest days. That's like a work day, a film day, where we're just sitting here. We know we're not really working out. That will actually increase by 30% and I do that indefinitely because sometimes we're here working for a day or like this Airbnb or like this Airbnb oh, Jesus Cut. <laughs> a perfect example is here Annalise and I are at this Airbnb for two or three days not exercising kind of taking it easy and so I actually want to increase my overall profile from what's kind of gotten used to of cycling every single day then the moments right after cycling, I switch it over to recovery for the night. So this will be a 10 or 20% reduction depending on how my body's kind of feeling. 
and then a slightly higher target range than that 100 or 80 or 90 that you all might be used to. And you can do this one indefinitely, but you also might do it for eight hours, so you know you'll set this at night, and then that will help kind of prevent your lows. I brought this, a can opener. It is the best lightweight can opener you can find. It's useful for every other bike trip besides India because they don't use cans here. All right. If that was really overwhelming for you, don't worry. I'm here to walk you through this, but also all these step-by-step -step directions are available on loopdocs.org. Whether you're new to looping overall, or whether you're like myself, looking to upgrade, or specifically what I'm doing today is upgrading Annalisa's phone so she has the same profiles, since we've been talking about it a lot and she thinks it's something that would be great to test out. Now basically, we're just gonna reinstall loop but with that new code you don't need to delete your old app but if you have any specific questions there's actually a page on loopdocs.org called ready to update your loop that walks you through a lot of frequently asked questions so it's a great resource to actually start installing it it's just gonna be the same thing as installing loop is open up Xcode in your downloads folder is gonna be that loop dev zip file so open that up usually by double clicking it a folder will appear, and from there you will open up the Xcode project file. Alright, now just follow all these steps that you would normally take for installing Loop. If you have any questions about that, go to the Loop Docs. But basically, you're finding your phone, adding your Apple developer account, authentic authentifying everything, and then actually running the app. I got it in my soul. Yeah, hard work looks easy when Everything you touch turns gold I was made for this All right, now you all get to see the two-story yoga studio that Annalise and I have been staying in. It's actually a coffee estate, but I had to plug in my computer because the first build will take 10 to 15 minutes, and then afterwards they're much quicker. But this will kind of be the moment of truth, so the app is now on her phone. I didn't have to delete the old one. I had to turn on all the health kind of settings that you would normally, and hopefully now she will have the custom overrides. Nice, yeah, awesome. Let's go uh, see what she thinks about this. Am I cured now? <laughs> Check it out. Custom. What should I start with? A cycling day? <laughs> <laughs> and what's cool is all of, your, all of your old settings are still on it. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to like tell them as we close off our little outro interview? I think one of the main concerns that people have is just trusting a machine to take care of their health. But I think 
the way to look at it and something that, that Eric said a lot is that like there's more there's more human error than there is machine error. Like this is one of the only diseases where the patient has to constantly monitor their this medication, insulin, that like can keep it keeps them alive, but it can also kill them. 